Hey, hey, Blue Table fans! Today we are taking a look at three Dragon Ogres. This is for Games Workshop's Age of Sigmar game. And as you may recall, there once was a little game called Warhammer Fantasy. And this version of the Dragon Ogre came out just before that game was discontinued and it was converted into what is now Age of Sigmar. Now, the old Warhammer Fantasy game was played on square and rectangular bases, and Age of Sigmar is on round or oval bases, which I think is much, much, much more appealing. And as you can see, these guys are on those types of bases. And uh, I really, these are about three inches long. I really like them. Now, I want to, before we launch into the figures, I want to take a look at the bases. Oftentimes, this is, this is overlooked. Let's see if I can zoom in just a little bit more. In fact, I'm going to move, I'm going to move a guy up so we can really take a look at these bases. Now, um, so first off, this is called corking, and it's where you take cork and like an eighth inch sheet and get it at a craft shop, and you break it up so that it looks like rocks. Now, a lot of people, they just tear the cork up and they slap it right on there, which I think is terrible. You've got to do more to it than that. You've got to create like these little uh, irregularities in it and tear it up at different angles, put down half pieces of cork. I actually cut it uh, horizontally with an X-Acto blade. Be super careful with that. I take smaller pieces. Uh, these are actually cork pieces in here and I create rocks as if the larger rock was crumbling. Let's take a look at this one. Uh, you can also put it together so there's like, so it looks like more of a natural formation. And that is, that is what is expected. And uh, so, and you can also take texture, that gravel stuff that you glue on. I like to super glue it on nowadays. Used to use white glue and you can put it on top as well. And that makes for some really nice formations. Let's take a look at the, the big guy. So check this guy, he has like a half piece of cork on top there. So you just, you can just make realistic formations and I think it, I think it looks a lot better. In fact, if you look back here, this is a large piece of cork that I basically just sliced out, uh, like I sliced a thinner piece of deli meat there. So uh, let's take a look at the models themselves. These are just painted to what I'd consider a, a fairly basic level, above Wargamer standard, but not to like a hero standard. And this is when I was experimenting with different types of layered skin. Uh, one of my artists, an expert, jo Josephus, as you guys may have remembered him, uh, he one day was talking to a client about painting skin tones and he said that the reason your skin looks realistic is that the light actually penetrates it to a certain degree and then it's reflected back out from the lower layers. So part of the secret to good skin is to put on layers and layers and layers. And they, these guys probably have six to eight layers on the skin and there's a lot going on. They've got like a bluish gray, a purplish color, uh, they have like a reddish, uh, like a brick red base in there, and that's kind of that's kind of how I think you get a good, a good skin tone. Of course, these guys definitely have an unnatural skin, and uh, it's it's very purplish. And again, I'm not saying these guys are great. They're definitely not. Uh, they're not display quality by any stretch. Uh, but I did have a lot of fun painting them. They actually came in as part of a trade, and I just sort of earmarked them for my d and game. This guy was missing a weapon, so I took a, uh, let's focus in there, I took a Chaos Knight blade and made it into his sword. It has kind of that school, little, school, that cool little skull hook thing going on. Here's the last guy. He's got double, he's double wielding maces. So in a, in a RPG environment, these guys really definitely take on some character and I build them as sort of the half dragon spawn of like literally dragon ogres, uh, ogre dragon spawn of a green dragon. And sometimes I even, I give, I even give them like a poison breath weapon. So guys, this is what I have to show you today. This really cool set of three dragon ogres. Uh, I'm really stoked about them. It's one of those pieces that uh, I don't typically sell off 
just because I enjoy having them so much. So thanks for tuning in, and I hope you got your inspiration for the day.